a few weeks ago, I planned an experiment with Mr. Prasad, our physics teacher. The plan was to burn Palaji biscuits to measure the amount of energy stored in them. So we made a paste of the biscuits and applied it onto a heater. Little did I know that biology would come into play. The experiment that we had planned over two weeks was killed by fungus on a weekend. The experiment was botched, but my passion for physics wasn't lost. It wasn't lost because physics lets me ask weird questions or do stuff like burn biscuits or try to turn a water gun into a flamethrower. I was first introduced to the weird side of physics in the ninth grade. One day, I was watching X-Men, Days of Future Past, on TV, and something clicked. I noticed that as Quicksilver ran faster and faster, time seemed to slow down for him. I quickly ran to my study table, scribbled a graph trying to show exactly that. My physics teacher at the time, Mr. Jay, told me that it's a concept known as time dilation. I googled the term, and it blew my mind. Time is relative, and it really slows down as we travel faster and faster. What? <laughs> Hungry for more, I continued reading and learning. I learned that Schrodinger put a cat in a box and pronounced it dead and alive at the same time. His point was that an unobserved particle would, ex would exist in multiple states at once, which basically means that if none of you could see me, I would be everywhere all the time. The next things to fascinate me were black holes. At the center of these beasts was the mass of a star concentrated into an infinitely small point. At the edge of a black hole, time would slow down for you so much that you could see the entire life of the universe instantly. Well, you wouldn't really be able to see anything because your eyeballs will be fried. Why I found it important to share these concepts here today was because they changed the course of my life for the better. Until the eighth grade, I was intimidated by physics. The technicality and structure from textbooks really kept me from exploring new realms. However, once I broke out of this and was introduced to topics that challenged my concept of reality, I instantly took to the subject. The scary technical stuff from classroom started to seem worth it. And look at me now. The kid who gave up science is now an aspiring, passionate physicist out to solve some of the universe's mysteries. Thank you.